and it is underway. Green flag is out. It's Campbell jumping to the lead. The Texan trying for a repeat of the Dallas street race in Addison, Texas, where he led every lap. Battle down on the inside. There are Crow sweeping back across the racetrack with Heisman. And Crow snares the second spot. Kim Campbell out of Dallas, Texas, the leader. Stuart Crow in second. Harold Heisman third. Mark Smith is fourth as they head for Fourth Street. And another of these quick, short, one block straightaways. Making the left on to fifth. Campbell being challenged by Stuart Crow and Crow to the inside takes the lead. Really slides that car, cuts right back across in front of Campbell. Right now, Stewart is ticking away in the lead as they come off the corner. Kim Campbell is in hot pursuit. Harold Heisman, the blue car, and Mark Smith inside of Heisman. And Mark Smith will grab third. Heisman battling side by side and takes the spot back. Robbie Groff, the point leader, is fifth right behind them. Sharp left turn, accelerating those cars dancing and coming up the hill, across the flat at 3rd Street, and then up the hill to the start-finish line on Crocker. Downshifting, breaking, locking them up. And Mark Smith is inside Heisman again, and he now has third spot. Here comes Robbie Grob, right side of the screen. Trying to take away the position from Heisman. That's now fourth, and Grob will get it. So Heisman, the ball sitter, has slid to fifth. There's a look at Mark Smith and Robbie Groff, the two-point chasers in Super V. One car has sailed into the wall as we're watching the leaders. We'll go back and pick it up on the replay. Look at the top of the screen at the number 13 sign. Ian Bland of Brisbane, Australia, loses. All of his ground effects goes in the air and sails into the tire wall. We'll get a report from the scene there in a moment. Stuart Crow leads Dallas, Texas driver Kim Campbell, Mark Smith, and Robbie Groff. The pole sitter Heisman has slipped to fifth. Crow locking up the brakes there. You heard the tire squeal in response to the rough pavement and in protest of his go for it all driving style. Stuart Crow determined to have that car out front. Kim Campbell in second, Mark Smith in third, Robbie Groff fourth, Heisman is fifth. We have restarted this race, and Kim Campbell has gone to the front. Mark Smith is second. Harold Heisman is third. And Stuart Crow passes Robbie Groff for fourth. Crow was the leader under caution. We'll rack up and replay for you a look at that restart and what happened to Stuart Crow. Robbie Groff has slipped into the fifth spot. Trying to hold on to his point lead in the way they're running right now with Mark Smith in second. Groff needs to move up at least a spot, perhaps two, to keep the point lead leaving Dallas. Look at Heisman in the light blue car and Crow right behind him, fourth and fifth. So Kim Campbell, who took the lead on the opening green flag of this race from pole sitter Heisman, is once again back to the front. Here's Crow to the inside of Heisman. Shaky line into the corner. Broad slides it coming out. Boy, he's getting all there is to be had from that car. So Crow fights his way back up to the third spot. Very exciting driving style he exhibits. Oh, and he's around. He's lost it. Crow just locked it up and lost it. And the rest of the field goes past. Looks as if he came over one of those bumps under hard braking. He'd already started his turn in, and the car just took a snap spin. Now here's a look at what happened to Crow in car number three on the restart. Pace car as well to the inside, waving the field up the hill, and it appears as if he missed a gear. Now he's back in gear, and look at he's right, left, coming up, back to the right, and all over the racetrack. I would say that ticking bomb ran out of fuse. Mark Smith is the new leader, as while we replayed that for you, Kim Campbell has spun out. So being up front is not the place to be. Here's a look at Campbell all alone by himself, and he got into the corner just a little bit too hot, spun it right around. And Campbell's car has not restarted. So the problem's apparently terminal on the Dallas race winner's machine. We're trying to get him refired and pushed away, looking for a push, see if he can get one. Mark Smith, the race leader, there's the capital of Iowa. We'll be back. 
Mark Smith is the new and surprise race leader after both Stuart Crow and Kim Campbell have spun out of the lead. Campbell's race is over, but here is Crow. Whether you agree with his strategy and his style, you've got to admire this young man's determination as he is flying his way back up through the field. Closing up now on Dwayne May out of Greenville, Texas. Crow from Dallas trying to move his way back up into the top five. Mark Smith in that evergreen and white machine. At the front of the field, there's point leader Robbie Groff. Groff is third, so Crow is now fifth behind the 51 of Dwayne May. The battle coming up here as Groff tries to hang on to third, and to the inside goes Crow. And again, he pitches that car left, right, and finally just tosses it into the corner, and he's moved up to the fourth spot. So Dwayne May in number 51, whose best finish of the season was fourth at Dallas, now gets kicked back to fifth. And Crow will fill up the mirrors of Robbie Groff, the series point leader. Groff in number five there, front of your screen. A two-time winner this season at Phoenix and at Cleveland. Runner-up finishes at Dallas and Raceway Park. His worst finish of the year, a fourth on the Oval at Milwaukee. And Stuart Crow trying to improve on his best finish of the season. Fourth at Raceway Park. His inside and again, under braking, finds it very hard to control that car. But he gets underneath and past Robbie Graw. So here's the separation. Mark Smith, number seven. Harold Heisman, 89. And the third place battle. Crow in third. And moving up to challenge, Dwayne May will take away the fourth spot from Robbie Graw. So Groff back to fifth, and this could be his worst finish this season as Crow outdistances the fourth and fifth place cars and tries to move up on the front pair. You see he has a ways to go to catch Mark Smith and pole sitter Harold Heisman. Now Smith is also a two-time winner this year, two in a row in fact, Raceway Park and Milwaukee. Mark Smith and Harold Heisman now are just a car length apart as they bounce across some of the bumps and repaving here in Des Moines. Heisman, a little lockup of the left side brakes, which were unloaded as he entered the corner there. Quickly back across. You wouldn't want to try that line on Monday morning down this street in downtown Des Moines when it's all taxi cabs, buses, and passenger cars. Coming up the hill once again, here's the third place car, Crow. Now he's moved away from Dwayne May, who has a similar distance on Robbie Ross. So third, fourth, and fifth is about settled here. This race is in its closing stages. Can Crow catch the two leaders? Stuart Crow in number three. Started third. He's led this race. Spun out of the lead. And now comes back to challenge. Mark Smith looking for his third win of the year. And if they finish in this order, it would give him the point lead. Heisman right on his tail as they come up the hill. Cross the start finish line at Crocker. And go back to turn one for the left-hander. On to 6th Street. Down 6th Street, past Veterans Auditorium. Two long blocks, and Heisman had a look on the inside. Thought better of it. Quick left onto Park Street. Here's Heisman going to the outside again. A right onto 4th. And another quick right up Keough Way. Heisman is there, and he is all over Mark Smith. This turn, a little more than 90 degrees, gets them back onto 5th Street. A long block past the convention center left on the Grand Avenue beneath the Skywalk system here in Des Moines that connects most of the downtown buildings. Right turn onto 3rd Street. And a quick left. This brings them down a long straightaway down Locust Street. A good opportunity perhaps for Heisman here. Coming down Locust. Up and over the flat where the cross streets are. Coming down across the Des Moines River. A quick left by the armory. Another quick left will take them back up across the river on Grand Avenue on this, the final lap. Turn 11, a right-hand corner, puts them on 2nd Avenue and the longest straightaway of the course. Last chance for Harold Heisman to wrest the win from Mark Smith. Stuart Crow just coming into sight will not be a factor. It's a left-hander then sharply up Crocker Street to the finish line. Six car lengths the distance. Across 3rd Street, up the hill to the finish line, checkered flag, Mark Smith scores his third win of the season.
Mark Smith back in victory lane again. How tough a race was this? Oh, it was uh, physically really demanding, but uh, my Evergreen Ralt worked perfect. Uh, we got caught out a little bit in qu qualifying yesterday. We made a spring change that probably wasn't for the best, but my Ralt crew and my mechanics, Tony and Dave and Brian Robertson and Dave McMillan got my car running perfect for the race. The course beat you up a bit? Yeah, but the racing was great. You know, it's, uh, it was good. So far, all our races this year have pretty much been follow the leader, and so we got to dice between uh, Heisman and Robbie and Stuart Crow. I want to congratulate them all on a great race, and um, I'm just really happy. Okay, congratulations right, on a great thank win. thank you very much. All right, and let's go back to Rick DeBrule.